those are salt deposits. Because so it seems to me that all that molten, that salt would burn up. So the fact that this is an 11,000 foot volcano that has salt on top of it, I would say is corresponding evidence that the ocean had once went through it. That, that is a lava flow that's dated around 12,000 or so years ago. And regardless of whether the volcano or that water erosion happened 12,000 years ago or 2 million years ago, that in itself is evidence that the ocean blasted through the Sahara Desert literally 50 to 60 million years more recently than previously known. Does it? I mean, that's... Yeah, completely. Yeah, it's, it's such a clean line. And it, it, it aligns with all the water erosion marks that are to the left of it. Just like you, you could really clearly see that it looks like a line, like a water line passed through what was uh, marked by the volcanic eruption. And this is one thing I say, I'm like, it's, it's visible to anyone that has eyes to see, but it turns out that the Sahara Desert is one of the least studied places on Earth, mostly because it's so inhospitable. It's an average of 125 degrees Fahrenheit much of the year.